<clears throat> what up, y'all? It's your boy, Monster Man Rocco. This is Monster Nation. Welcome to the nation. I'm your tour guide, your president, and your host. Um, It's come to my attention that I have a few things I probably should talk to you guys about. Um, Just basically giving you a tour of the nation. I know you might hear the term monster nation and think it's going to be all kind of aggressive uh, rah, 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 shit going on, but that's not it. If that's what you thought, then that's not correct. That ain't it. Um, my definition of monster is when you think anytime you say to yourself that somebody is so good at anything like this nigga LeBron is a monster in the paint. That's what I mean. You understand what I'm saying? It's the, the it's the it's that whatever that that person is who gets so busy at anything, you look like oh my god, this nigga is a monster. Like monster mentality is synonymous with mamba mentality. You know, you, whatever you do, you are gonna do it to death. The niggas on your side, they love you. The niggas on the other side they have a hard day at work, right? So, with that being said, um, I try to do good in all of these vlogs. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I'm not out here trying to um, be the dude that's tearing everybody down. Y'all got, we got enough of that. I don't even, I don't like that to begin with. You know what I'm saying? I, I really, I sincerely don't. So that's why. Any blog that you find here on Monster Nation will have at least, will, it will have a positive spin on it in some light. There will be no me destroying anybody. There will be me, I, I, I hate when I see blogs and they go, such and such a destroy, such and such. A I guess it's because I'm a, I don't know, like I have, I have a, a, a this conflict in my brain about the actual language and the slang language. Like, if if a word is a slang word, then it's it's changed. It's you know, you know, like destroyed is in the dictionary. We didn't modify it or nothing, and we sitting here saying, I I just don't like it. Never mind. We're not gonna get all the way into that, right? You you'll never see that in my titles. I'm not here to do that. I'm never gonna pour salt in anybody's wounds. From Easy to Block Captain to Ja Morant to uh, uh, Kyrie Irving or who or, 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 or who else? Uh, uh, what was it? Trick Daddy I talked about. Uh, the Coney Island situation with Nims. The the uh, what's your Keith Murray? Like I'm never gonna pour salt in none of my peers' wounds. That shit is corny to me. Y'all can do that. It's fine. I'm not going to hate. Sometimes it's actually funny, but in a different, in a, you know, on 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 a, on a different vibration, that that's that's not my ministry. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, every once in a while, I get salute to all of the people who send all of the love, all of the all of the loyal citizens of the nation who who are active and vocal about their love. I see y'all in the streets. I see y'all in the in the comments showing wild love. But we also see y'all in the comments when y'all not showing love, right? Now, if we saw y'all in the streets and you said some of those things to us, we would probably most likely beat you up, right? I probably would. Whoever would probably would assist, right? Whatever, right? That's just that's just a fact. But I'm not angry. I understand the, I mean, like, like I said, this, this, this sort of thing never happens in person. So no need for me to be angry, you understand? But let me just explain to you, like, I'm like, I'm just explaining to everyone, anyone new here who might not, because if you, you might not under, anyone who's been here this whole time, you probably, you already know this about me. If you know me in real life, you know this about me. You understand what I'm saying? You know that I'm not out here trying to have the youngins jump off a bridge into into a pool of trouble. You understand what I'm saying? That's not that's not what I'm trying to do. You know what I'm that's that's again not my ministry, right? So you know, it's just crazy. But um, like 
my fans, if you're really if you're really a Rock Miss Monster fan, then you've probably watched interviews where I've elaborated on all of these things. Like you you've seen episodes of the podcast that if you scroll further down on the channel, they're there. Nobody was watching. Nobody y'all wasn't rocking with us back then for whatever reason, right? But um you'll see me and my brother Starang Wonder are, 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 are debating or talking about or me and Talib Kweli. Like, I come from a place where I was the... When I was a youngin, when I was a youngster, I couldn't take a joke. So when you said crazy things to me, I wanted to fight you. You understand? I'm not saying whether, whether or not I was wrong. Maybe my older brother should have taught me how to crack jokes better. Maybe he shouldn't have. But the fact is he didn't. And that was how my young soul dealt with this. Like, I was a nerd. I could have, I could have been a very, I, I, I could have been a whole different nigga, right? But I had this thing in me, like I had these fucking super good grades. When I say I was a nerd, I mean my grades was. The problem was, I would fight you, you know, and I wasn't fresh to death. I wasn't fly as no kid, you know. My mom's ain't had me in none of that. So if you joked on me, I would fight you. Now, again, I and I was big too. So I was I was the, I was the tallest kid in my class all the time and I wasn't skinny when I was kid when I was a kid either. You had jokes on me. My my first re can you beat me though? That was my response to almost you understand what I'm saying? So that wasn't good. You understand? I under like I grew up now. I'm, I'm all grown and, and 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 I got jokes and I can take a joke now and all of that. But I understand the people who don't. Industry rappers don't battle rap because they can't take a joke. Their reputation is on the line. They they got more thing. Their brand is on the line. Yo yeah, like like battle rappers, brand is the battle. You know all of the, you know all of the trolling is part of the brand. You understand what I'm saying? So when I blog on battle rap, a lot of dudes are unhappy because I'm not talking crazy about... Well, not a lot of dudes, but some of you are unhappy. But yeah, that's... that's that's Nah. That's not what we do here, homies. You know what I mean? I'm not even, I'm not even mad at y'all. You understand what I'm saying? For saying whatever it is, for whatever it is y'all said. But what I, what I will tell you this is when you say it, it gets deleted, right? And it ain't, it ain't enough for y'all here yet for us to miss it. You understand what I'm saying? So if you want to say crazy shit and let it live on the page, then you got to promote the page some more to, to the point where we get so much, we got so many people that we don't see none of that. And then at that point, it won't matter anyway. So I'm just saying. So I just wanted to let everybody know, like that's, that's, that's how we give it up here. You understand what I'm saying? We are not, a, we are, we are not a, a channel where we wanna, you're not gonna see me on here talking about fuck easy to block captain. That nigga, oh, he got punched in the face and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I believe he got punched in the face. I'm almost sure he got punched in the face. Niggas, somebody, niggas talk about I'm on it, like I'm on the easy train, I believe. Like, I think I might've let one of those comments stay because dude had a lot of, uh, or he said I was campaigning for easy, whatever it was, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, whatever, you know what I'm saying? But, um, Need I remind you that Swave Seven is my brother and he smoked easy? He smoked easy. I'm, uh, I'm, a fit, I'm appalled by the fact that pe people running around here talking about he's undefeated. He undefeated. Swave smoked easy. And that's my brother. I'm going to say it again. Swave smoked easy. And niggas don't talk about that, Bobby, because if it ain't URL, it don't matter. Y'all not y'all not singing that same song now, is we? Anyway, um, so I'm gonna get I'm gonna move along from this topic. I mean, I got I got a whole lot of things I want to I like a whole lot of other things I want to talk to y'all about. Like I said, um, start blogging about more times. I'm, I'm gonna start blogging more times, probably a few times a day. Get more out there to you, just to make up for the times when I ain't able to. You know what I mean? And it's not going. <laughs> It's not gonna all be battle rap. Um, I got some. I got some stuff. So, um, if y'all made it to the end of this video, <clears throat> excuse me. Crowns um, the Crownsville. Hold on. Matter of fact, let me. It was something I wanted to allude to that's very important. Taz, what's today's date? Today's date is 
Today is the 14th of July. All right, today is July 14th, right? Friday the 14th. Um, 13 years ago today, I won my freedom back. Like, I, like I, had, I, it was the end of the hardest fight of my entire life. I had caught a case, you understand what I'm saying? I'm out here mixing and mingling and, and doing all kind of, you know, you understand what I'm saying? Just being out in the underworld, out here mixing and mingling, and something crazy went down, and I almost went to jail forever for it. Now, I will say this. Rock filthy, but not guilty. The verdict reflected that. But I can remember something very clear. One thing stands out to me, that my lawyer, salute to my lawyer, <clears throat> Kenny Dogs, Ken Montgomery, right? The, the illest and realest lawyer you know, right? Out there, right? The brother said to me in his closing remarks, not to me, he said to the to the to the jury in his closing remarks, in his closing remarks, he was like, We know something happened here. Right? But can what do we have su sufficient evidence to say that this, what they're saying happened, happened? It's clear something happened. But can we say that that happened, right? And the answer was absolutely not. So I was found not guilty, right? Salute to the dude from my jury that I saw yesterday. <laughs> I saw this nigga yesterday. I was in the Ville. And, yeah, anyway, salute to him, right? Um... But I bring that up to say to you, you niggas don't want no parts of real problems. I went to, I was on trial. I didn't take the stand. If I would have took the stand, you know what the DA had waiting for me? He showed me. He had my first three albums, well, Help the Skelter's first three albums, all typed up. This was in 2008, 2009, two, well, Trial happened in 2010. This was in 2010. Thirteen years ago. Thirteen years ago. And you niggas are still running around drilling, smoking on your ops, and this, that, and the third. Y'all on y'all, y'all on the internet talking, direct, direct, pointing a finger into a camera, saying a nigga name. Talk about what you gonna do to him. Talk about what happened to him. Talk about that's too much for a nigga who been through what I've been through. It's just too much. I'm never going to do that. Hear me? So when you come to Monster Nation, understand that we vibrate on a certain frequency. I'm not saying it's higher. I'm not saying none of that. I'm not trying to downplay nobody. All I'm saying is, it's a certain frequency. Figure it out, recognize it for what it is, and if you want to come on in here, come on in here, pause. Um, recognize, yes, that is a word. Um, we got a new song out right now. It's a new boot camp song. It's called What You... Look at this day. This is the anniversary of the day I won my freedom. My, mind you, the same day we dropped... The first boot camp record that we all have done together in 16, 16 years. Celebrating 30 years of For The People. That's the first boot camp album. That's what we're doing in 50 years of hip hop. And me and hip hop got damn near the same breath. Rock on, rock on. If you made it to the end of this right now, then, 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 then put up a peace sign. Peace sign. Peace.